Hi, I'm Brenda Cadman from Bonacore Creative, and in today's quick Canva tutorial, I want to talk about why using folders is so important, and I'll show you how to use them in your own Canva account. So let's jump into Canva. If you've never created folders before in your Canva account, you can now do so by clicking on this plus sign in the top right corner of your projects page. When I do that, I'll have the option to add a folder or to upload a file into my account. So I will just add a new folder and I'll be able to give it a name and create it. And then let's open up that folder. I'm going to add a couple more folders here. Let's call them slide decks and worksheets. The process of creating a subfolder is the same as creating a top level folder. You'll just need to open up the folder that you want to contain a subfolder and once you've done that, you can click on the plus sign in the top right of the screen to add a new folder inside of the folder that you're currently viewing. So I'm currently in this folder called clients and I could create individual folders for my various clients. I'll click on the plus sign and then I'll follow the prompts to create a new folder for client A. And now let's add one for client B. Then you could continue to create additional levels of subfolders to further organize the contents of the client folders. Now don't forget that you can only create two custom folders on a free Canva plan, whereas you can create unlimited folders on Canva Pro. If you haven't yet upgraded to Canva Pro, I encourage you to give it a try. And you can do a 45 day free Canva Pro trial by going to brendacadman.com forward slash Canva. Stay tuned for more Canva tips and tutorials and be sure to check out the How to Use Canva membership where I'm serving up Canva knowledge, inspiration and support on a monthly basis.